Hey, bro. What's up, compadre? Ah, uh, nuts, man. <clears throat> ah, damn. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get my paycheck and get out of here. You broke again? I laid out a little bit of money last night, but, uh, <laughs> no big deal. Today's payday. And, uh, what was her name? <laughs> her name was the Queen of Diamonds, but, uh, she didn't show. Hey, hey. Would you look at that? One day I'm gonna have me one of those. Yeah? You thinking of leaving the docks and becoming a driver? I'm gonna leave the docks all right. But I ain't gonna be no limo driver. One day, I'm gonna be a very rich man. <laughs> You've been saying that since New Orleans, man. I hope your dreams come true, Nikki. I can sure use that 20 bucks you owe me. Yeah, well, speaking of money, I'm gonna go get our paychecks. Yeah, get them over here. Go get that guy. Get him out of here now. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, I want to talk to the foreman. He's got my paycheck. Kick the weight sucker out of here. What's wrong with you? Beat it. Or I'll rip your head off and bounce it around like a basketball. Ooh, that would hurt. What? Ah! Mr. Landis, we finally meet. I am impressed by your accomplishments. Have some? No, thank you. Very soon, my organization will be the most powerful in Asia. And with the British being ousted in 1997, we need to expand. But there's too much competition. Chicanos, Italians, Iranians. We need weapons. The best. You have the best. Fortunately, weapons alone will not be enough. It is the finger behind the trigger which must be loyal. Can they see for quiet? A very powerful weapon. A great journey begins with one step. Would you like to do some business, Mr. Landis? What would you have me do? Can you stand against that wall? I'm afraid my accomplishments will exceed your childishness. <laughs> I like you, Mr. Landis. Seems we all have our limitations. But what about my competition? You know this James uh, Fratelli, Fatuccio? Fratello. That's him, yes. What do you want from him? I don't want anything from him. I want something from you. I want you to eliminate Jimmy Fratello and Vinny Lopez. This guy starts yelling and says I'm trying to break his finger. Big deal, he's trying to break his arm. <laughs> I bet that was the last pencil he tried to steal from you. Nope, believe it or not, same guy, different finger, seventh grade. <laughs> you know, we really shouldn't be laughing. We're out of work again. Yeah, I know, but after what I saw in those boxes, who cares? Yeah, I saw those, too. Those were Mac-10s. The only kind of guys that use those are, like, drug runners and assassins. And a whole bunch of other guys you don't want to meet. I'll drink to that. Seriously, Nick, that's the third job we've lost since we've been in L.A. Well, they're all lousy, stinking jobs anyway. I gotta tell you, man, I've headed up to here with L.A. already. How can you say that? I mean, L.A. is the land of opportunity. The other night, I'm at the gym. I meet this guy, his name's, uh... Landis. Anyway, this guy pays big money for full contact fighters. Big money, huh? 
big money. See this guy Lance, he sets up the fights underground. You win the fight, you win the cash. No taxes, no nothing. No feeling from the neck down if you mess with the wrong guy, Nick. You're always looking for an easy buck. Haven't you learned there's no such thing? It's called paying your dues, compadre. You're crazy. You could get hurt. You could get killed. Yeah, well, uh, I can take care of myself, and so can you. So let's give it a shot. I don't think so. You don't get it, do you? I've had enough. Man, I hear they're hiring up north. Pay's good, I'm thinking of heading up that way. Maybe I'll do it right this time. Save some money, go back to school. Well, looks like I go it alone. We've been through a lot together. I mean, New York, Galveston, even here in L.A. You go for it. You watch your ass. Hey, who's going to bail me out? Why should things change? Call me if you need me. He'll be back. I owe him 20 bucks. Puccini. My grandfather loved Puccini. He was my mother's father. Pretty Tommy O'Brien. We got the name because he looked like an Irish. Can you believe it? <laughs> but he wasn't. He was Italian through and through. The family came from northern Italy. But he didn't look at it. You know, he had this, this sandy, sandy blonde hair. And these intense green eyes. Pretty Tommy O'Brien. He got the nickname because he was a good-looking son of a gun. He really was. And he dressed, he dressed to the nines, you know, and Except he was a tiny little guy with a vicious temper. Yeah, you never wanted to cross pretty Tommy O'Brien, no. He was mean. He had a mean side to him, you know? Not only would he whack you out, but he cut your head off with this machete, you know? He used this, this private machete of his. <laughs> and if you stole from him, you knocked down on him. He wouldn't even give you the decency of killing you. He cut your head off while you're still alive. <laughs> there was a guy in the neighborhood who used to knock down on him, right? He knew about it for quite a while. So this Goomba's joking on him, right? And he's waiting, he's waiting. And one night, he invites him over for dinner. You see? A couple of lieutenants grab the guy. Two story. Drag him down in the basement. They hold him down on the floor. And Tommy O'Brien looks right in the guy's face. And he tells him, laughing right in his face, stealing from me ain't nothing to lose your head over. And proceeds to decapitate the guy right there in the basement. The guy was screaming for his mother. There was blood every place. <laughs> that was my grandfather. God, he was brutal. But very effective. You got five minutes of my time, Bannock. That's all I need. Well, what? I thought you guys went to the fight game since when did you stop playing with guns. You can have as many as you want M16, Stinger missiles, you name it. Well, why are you coming to me with this stuff? I got plenty of weapons. Huh? This little war that's burning between you and the Iron Tigers. We just want to be on this side that wins. Maybe one day we need your help. Oh. Maybe we can help you right now. <laughs> well, how wise of you. And what is that help going to, uh, going to cost me, huh? Not much. You buy the hardware from us, and we get 25% of your operation. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> oh, no, this land is a little strange. I don't think you're that crazy. Why would I do something like that? Because it's going to put you over the top. Unless it tries, it's going to get in first. Think about it, Jimmy. And keep the gun. Old time safe. Follow that muscle down in order to find out where they're stashing these things. And whack both their heads off. I think Jimmy's gonna get a bang out of this, don't you? Just like the 4th of July. Oh, my God!
Isn't that impressive? Nikki, I'm confused. You expected to kill. Your job is to kill. You didn't. I don't like that. I said I'd fight. I didn't say I'd kill. This whole thing is sick. I quit. Nikki, you don't understand. You do what we tell you to do. You're my boy, Nick. You're going to become the prize of my stable. We own you. Oh, yeah. Nobody owns me. Come on, Goldilocks. Let's see what you got. Goldilocks? Exactly what I'm talking about. Absolutely no regard for my authority. I hate a mess. Take him out of here. Take the message, you put the message here in this basket, okay? Excuse me. I'm John Larson. I'm here to see you. Uh... Yes, Mr. Larson. You're just a few days late. I'm really sorry about being late. I made a few stops on the coast. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you. I want you to know I'm very happy to have this opportunity to work here. Oh, good. That's very good. By the way, a message came for you just a couple of days ago. Someone called you. Here you are. Is something wrong? Yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine in Los Angeles looks like he's in trouble. I'm sorry. Well, look, why don't you come with me and I'll show you the work area. Ms. McKenna, I'm afraid I can't take this job. <laughs> Excuse me? I got to get back to Los Angeles. My friend needs me. Mr. Larson, we have been holding this position open for you. Do you know how many people want this job? Yeah. Uh, maybe next time. Good day.
Got anybody to watch your bike? No. I'll watch it for a dollar. Watch it real good. Nobody's gonna hurt it. All right. Watch my helmet. Want something? Yeah, I'm looking for a gentleman by the name of Nick Wallace. I think he's in room 52. Something wrong? Yeah, I haven't been here for a week. What? Disappear. Nice kid. Wants to be a boxer. You need a room? Yeah, yeah, I do. Get this out. Work? Yeah. 40 bucks. In advance. Room 22, up the stair. Thanks. Oh, if you happen to see Nick, can you make sure you tell him where I am? Don't worry. He still owes me money, remember? Yeah. Hey, leave it alone. You talking to me, Holmes? Yeah, leave it alone. What is it, George? You own it? It's a friend of mine. He's paying me to watch it for him. So, well, watch me drive away on it, then. You mess with the bike, you gotta mess with me. <laughs> I don't think so. I warned you. Kick sure is out in the black. First day on the job, just going for employee of the week. Where'd you learn how to do that? The streets. Come on, let me take you home. I am home. What, you live here? No, well, around here. Well, where's your family at? None of your business. Yeah, I guess not. You hungry? Well, come on, I'll get you something to eat. You're not a pervert or anything like that. So what are you doing in that hotel? Looking for a friend of mine. When was the last time you wait? Your friend in trouble or something? Yeah. yeah he's kind of like you. He's always in trouble. You know where he is? No. No. I know he's around here somewhere. But... You know your way around? Not exactly. Where are you from? Everywhere. Started off in New York, working the docks, then I moved west. How are you going to find your friend if you don't know your way around? You need a guide, homie. You need someone who knows the streets. Well, you wouldn't just happen to know one, would you? Don't be a jerk. I know the streets. <laughs> All right, what's this going to cost me? Your bike. My bike? <laughs> Get real, kid. I'm not a kid. I'm Tommy. And if I help you find your friend, you give me your bike. Well, you drive a hard bargain, kid. I mean, Tommy. Does that mean we have a deal? No. You never heard the one about easy money, have you? this guy around? 
Yeah, I've seen him around. You have where? Some private karate school downtown. Private? What do you mean private? You know, they're hard to find unless you have the right connection. Do you? I stay away from those kind of places. That can get pretty hairy. Your friends hanging around with these guys can be in a lot of trouble. Let's say I wanted to find a place like this. Where would I look? Chinatown. I'm looking for a Danny Richardson. Up the stairs, turn to the right, second door on the left. Thanks. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a Danny Richardson. Is he around? He's not around, but she is. I'm Danny Richardson. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I, the name Danny, I thought. Short for Danielle. My father's revenge against my mother for not having a boy. What can I do for you? My name's John Larson. I'm looking for a gentleman by the name of Nick Wallace. How'd you find me, Mr. Larson? I was over at the hospital, Cedars. They sent me over here, Dr. Newman. That's all I need. My workload added on to by Peter Newman. What did he tell you I would do for you? Well, he didn't actually say. This is not a lost and found bureau. And if Dr. Newman told you that, he's wrong. Good day, Miss Richardson. Hold it. I'm sorry. Have a seat. Maybe I can help you, or at least I'm going to try. Well. He's not in here. If he died or if somebody found his body, it'd be in my computer. What brought your friend Ellie in the first place? We came here together, worked at docks for a while. And when that ended, I split and he stayed. What do you do? Longshore. Nick's a kickboxer, though. He said he was going to fight for some promoter by the name of Landis or something. Paul Landis? No first name. It's just Landis. That's all I know. Whoa. <laughs> something I should know. Paul Landis is a pretty heavy name. If your friend's mixed up with him, he's in a lot more trouble than you think. What do you mean? Landis is a gangster, not the kind of guy anyone with half a brain would work for. <laughs> well, Nick wouldn't work for anybody like that. You'd be surprised what people would do for money. Not Nick. He's not like that. I'm just telling you what I know. Well, could you get me some more information on this Landis guy? I've got to find Nick. If Nick's in trouble, I gotta help him. Well, I can get in trouble with this. But okay. Meet me across the street in the park in an hour. Thank you. Look, here's the deal. I'll help you find your friend if you help me get a story out of this. A story? On Landis. An expose on him can get me out of the obituary department and into the newsroom. Well? Why not? You got a deal. Just remember, I call the shots. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. For now. She giving you trouble? Who's your friend? Tommy, this is that reporter I told you about, Danielle Richardson. She don't look like no reporter to me. Is she your sister? You must be a reporter. You're pretty nosy. Where'd you find her? She's okay. Flight manager 
Rogers. He said your friend fought here last week. No one's seen him since. Anything else? That's it. <laughs> the big guy. Mark Vanek. He works for Landis. Looks like a real psycho. Sort of puts you two in the same boat, doesn't it? I mean, that is what you do. Hurt people for money? First of all, I never fought for the money. I fought for the competition. Second of all, I'm not into that anymore. So I grew out of it. And yeah, Nick fights for money, but he's never permanently damaged anybody, at least not on purpose. Now, what do you say we get started? Uh, what are we doing here? Getting you an audition. And what's that supposed to mean? I've done a little research on you, Mr. Larson. I once a champion kickboxer. Only one way to get Paul Landis interested in you, and that's to fight in one of his matches. I told you, I'm not into that. I don't fight in competition anymore. You want to find your friend? You know I do. OK, look. I may be new at this, but at least we're making progress. You haven't been able to find him your way, so why don't we try it mine? Your way could get me hurt. Hurt? It could get you killed. But I bet you find your friend.
Excuse me. Do you have a light? Get lost, sister. He's with me. Now, what'd you go and do that for? I was just getting to know her. You see that man over there? His name's Big Man. He's a fight manager. Wait here a minute. Oh, by the way, try not to catch anything while I'm gone. Hey, man, can I get a beer for us? <laughs> well, aren't you just gorgeous? So, uh, what's a beautiful lady like you doing in here? You, uh, you buying? Selling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you big man? I'm Lionel P. Bigman, yeah. But you can call me big man. Who's asking? What do you want? I'm here to do you a favor. Do I get to pick the position? <laughs> <laughs> Biggie, you're so funny. <laughs> You see that guy over there at the bar? Yeah. Well, he's the best fighter I've ever seen, and he's looking to make some money. Him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, don't toy with me. I got all the fighters I want, you know? They're all winners. Look at your guys. He, he's unproven. Yeah, well, but... Hey, listen. I'll tell you what I do like about him. What's that? His girlfriend. <laughs> make a little deal with you. Here's what I'll do. You, uh... You take a little ride on the Big Man Express, and uh, I'll talk to you about your boyfriend, huh? Is that your best offer? It's my only offer, and it's a real good one, too. Because uh, <laughs> I'd last a lot longer with you than he would with my boys, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Big Man. You can call me Biggie. I'd rather eat glass. Your manager over there tells me you guys claim to be fighters. I guess. Well... I've got a hundred bucks that says the guy over there at the bar can kick all your asses. <laughs> hey, what's your... Hey, hey, hey. I've had you fun. Now let it go. Nothing, man. They were drunk. What's your name? Larson. John Larson. Well, meet your new manager. <laughs> Pretty good. Very impressive. Yeah, it was easy. Besides, with you being the stakes, how could I mess up? A compliment. I didn't know tough guys did that sort of thing. Even tough guys appreciate a beautiful woman. <laughs> oh, you do smile. You know, you should try that more often. I don't trust Han. Let me worry about Han. You just don't get it, do you? You think a guy like Han is just gonna let us take over his operation? We supply Han with what he wants, he'll play ball. Where else? Or else what? Or else we eliminate him. Eliminate him? Are you crazy, man? Maybe it's time that I make some decisions around here. Mark. Don't challenge me. It just wouldn't be healthy. So we go in there to collect the dough, right? 
I tell Knucklehead here to get his piece. Hey, come on. You got to tell everybody about it. And then I look at it. And I'm looking at it. And it's plastic. Hey, that's a big gun by mistake. It could happen to anybody. No offense. Jimmy just got whack and these guys are laughing. You worry too much. He had it coming. He was arrogant, weak, and stupid. And he let his guard down. Bad mistake. You never, ever let your guard down. You let your guard down, everybody takes advantage of you. Look at me. I took advantage of my enemies. Italian suit, Italian shoes, a gold watch, money, and a $200 haircut. Hey, what more do you want? You all right? Hey, look at this place. It's like a fortress. Not been a good day for you, Vincent. The spirits must really be upset. Yes. Look at your aura. It's fading. That's a you bastard. This ain't no bar brawl. This is it. You gotta concentrate. Don't worry about the crowd. Win this fight. Come on. Type of fighters. There's a chess player and a checker player. A chess player will take two hits, they'll give one. A checker player will never take any and give the four, five, and six. What are you? Chess player. Okay, come on, let's work it. That's it. Work that jab. Work that jab. Jab that took to the body. There you go, ready. Jab, skip, ball, kick, sweep. 
Yes, sir. Ready to switch, jab, ball, kick, right, cross, left, toss. Understand what a warrior is all about. You gotta focus. You gotta control those emotions under pressure. It's not how hard you hit, it's how right you hit. Knowledge is power. Use the power of knowledge and experience. You have plenty of it. Skip ball kick, spinning wheel kick. while though you know college little travel but I came back college huh I've been thinking about going back to school myself maybe someday your folks my mom died about 10 years ago and my dad lives on a ranch outside Solvang but we're very close you know he's all the family I have an only child I should have <laughs> guessed is that where the attitude comes from? Hey, look, Buster. On the streets of L.A., you need an attitude or you'll be eaten alive. I guess you got a point there. You really don't like fighting, do you? No, not anymore. How come? Three years ago, I had my last fight. I won the championship of the world. My opponent died in the ring. John, he knew the risk. Yeah, I know. He had a wife and two kids. What? Thanks. Watch this guy. He's tough. He's one of the best fighters in Japan. Don't let him get to you first, because if he does, the next thing you're gonna hear is a fat lady sing, all right? Don't worry. There's a promoter out there, too. His name's Landis. You stay away from him. What? Don't worry about that. You gotta fight the win. Let's just get out there and kick this guy's ass, all right? <laughs> Understand what a warrior is all about.
You were great. You killed that guy. You did good. You and me, we're gonna be rich. <laughs> rich. I hope there's enough in that deal for me. Excuse us for interrupting. My name is Paul Landis, and this is my partner, Mark Vanek. We're fight promoters. Yeah, I've heard of you guys. Really? All good, I hope. From another fighter, actually. Nick Wallace? Wallace. Wallace. Does that name ring a bell? Wallace? No, I'm sorry. But then I work with so many different fighters. Where are you from? Just got into town from up north. I see. And who is this lovely young lady? Danielle Richardson. My pleasure. I'm having a little party at my place tomorrow afternoon. I'd like you and your young friend here to be my guest. I think you'll find it very profitable. Well, I'd have to run it by my manager. Oh, by all means. Bring your funny little friend along. You enjoy yourself. Oh, I'll have my chauffeur pick you up, say, one o'clock. One would be fine. Little friend, huh? I told you to stay away from him. What, do you want to end up dead? Calm down. Nobody's gonna die. What harm can come from one party? Don't be fooled by him. He can trap you like a spider traps a fly. I've seen him do it. You know, where I'm from, there's an old story. The emperor once gave our entire province to a great warlord named Chow Li. At first, Chow Li was very honorable and loyal, and this gained him much favor with the emperor, who in turn gave him his prized horse. Then Chow Li began to steal tax monies to the emperor. The emperor had him punished for his greed and disloyalty. He had him dragged through the entire province on the very horse he had given him. So you see, Mr. Landis, when it comes to greed and loyalty, they are mortal enemies. What an interesting story. Ah, yes. Fine European craftsmanship. Rolex, Mercedes, Mac-10, the best. No, Rolex is Swiss. Ah, they're all the same. Doesn't matter. How much? Think rates of Mac-10s, 500,000 tons. You want to ship outside the US, that'll be extra. 250 now, 250 on delivery. We split the cost of shipping. I supply the ship, you supply the crew. Deal? Deal. Very good, gentlemen. We have an agreement. <laughs> Majesty. John. Glad you could make it. Uh, Miss Richardson. The lovely Miss Richardson. Why, Mr. Landis, are you always this charming with all your guests? Only the beautiful ones. Could you ever really think of wearing a crystal? I don't know much about them. They do have power, you know. They could change your life. Mark. You remember John? I remember you. If you will excuse me, I have to take care of some of my guests. Well, what do you think of our little party? That's yeah, great. Nice place. 
Could you do me a favor and entertain Miss Richardson? Well, John and I talk a little business. Yes, sir. Can I get you a drink, John? No, thanks. Sit. <sighs> ah, my computers. They are my eyes and ears. You see, I have international business interests. And computers give me a small edge on the competition. Once in a while, a, a slight edge is all you need. I'm sorry, I didn't know that was valuable. You have to be very careful with crystals. This one happens to be related to my personal aura. If someone is holding it, they could drain off my energies. Like my computers, they give me a slight edge on my competition. Crystals, auras, you hardly seem to type. If it wasn't for this crystal, I wouldn't be as powerful as I am. I'm sorry, I didn't mean any disrespect by that. Well, I'll come right to the point, John. I'd like you to fight for me. I've already got a manager. I can guarantee you'll make more money with me than you could ever imagine. Enough to keep you and your young lady comfortable for a long time. Well, I'd have to think about it. Take your time. You know where to find me. But in the meantime, enjoy yourself.
can't still be hungover. You're an idiot. What's that supposed to mean? You sign with Landis and Bannock. You know, you're dumber than a housefly with, with a metal plate in his head, you know that? Now, is that any way to talk to the man that's gonna make you rich? Listen to me. Landis is gonna use you. And when he's done, he's gonna put you in one of those death matches. What do you mean, death match? You know what I mean. Two guys get in the ring and they fight it out till somebody's dead. Landis and his rich buddies bet on that stuff. I don't believe that. Yeah? Well, you're gonna end up just like the other guy. What other guy? He was a fighter for Landis. He didn't do what Landis wanted him to. Suddenly, he's gone. Nobody's seen him since, you know? Hmm? Did you get his name? Something, uh, Wallace. Nick Wallace? I don't know. I don't care. Is he dead? Could be. Who knows? Really, who cares, you know? You sure? Yeah. I guess I'm too late. We should go to the police. Tell them what? There's even a body. Maybe he's not dead. I don't know. I need something. Evidence. I should have my head examined for going along with a plan like this. You're gonna get yourself killed. No, I won't. You just make sure you're here when I get back. I gotta get into this computer room. What do you expect to find in there? I don't know anything to bring those bastards down. I gotta go. I'll be back. Bingo. Did you go any 
any faster? If I was going any faster, we'd be in the Indy 500. What's the matter, tough guy? Afraid of women drivers? I got one more left. Someone broke into the study. Why? Why? So where did he get it? Enough. Tell me why. Tell me why. Just give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. Why don't we see what we got here? Ah, a rat in the kitchen. files to the police. I wouldn't trust the police. Landis has had his hands on a lot of people's bodies. Then let me take him to my editor. If it hits the stands, the police have got to listen to us. Yeah, that's true. Hey, this could be the big story you've been looking for. Forget about the story right now. Right now, we've got more important things to think about. Go ahead. If you and your friends want to look like Swiss cheese, I'm really disappointed in you, John. Very disappointed. I gave you the chance to be a rich man, and what do you do? What did he do? He ripped us off. He ripped us off. I'll give you one minute to tell us who you are, who you work for, and where the files are. I said, hold. Poison, huh? The cops. Hold. Mark. Mark, Mark. You think he's losing it? You're probably right. But you see, he gets real pissed off when someone breaks into my house and steals. So let's try it again. Who sent you? Who sent you? Nobody sent me, man. I'm here to find my friend. Nick Wallace, that fighter I told you about. Wallace. Wallace. You're lying. No, man, it's true. I don't want nothing from you. Wallace is somewhere on this ship. He's lucky I haven't even killed him. Maybe now I will. Let me get this straight. 
You're not with Interpol. You're not with the police. Or that guy, Han. You've been trying to take me down because of a friend? Look, man, let the girls go, and I'll get you your files. No. I'm gonna kill them all. Except for the girl. I'm gonna keep her around for a couple of days. And as far as my files, you can have them. Bastard, I'll kill you, man! Actually, we're gonna kill you. Girls. What girls? Now that's not what I want to hear. John! We gotta get out of this place. I wonder where you disappeared to. Don't even think about it. You'll be dead. Just let the girls go. Not till after the show. We gotta get out of here. Get Nick off the boat. I'm going after Landis. Take this, you might need it. Come on, we gotta get you out of here.
Thanks, bro. Save my life. What time? What choice did I have? You still owe me 20 bucks. So what's next, cowboy? Well, a shower would be nice. Tommy, think you can find us a cheeseburger? Sure.